Well, with a name like Aphrodite, you know our next guest has a passion, a real love, and she loves getting to justice. True Crime Season 4 is upon us, and Aphrodite, what is it about crime that fascinates us all so much? It's a good question, Con. Uh, I think at the end of the day, we all are concerned that we could be in a position where somebody we know is a victim of crime. I think that we also secretly wonder whether or not, uh, well, our lives seems a lot better compared to others who are victims of crime. And, uh, you know, ultimately, I think that many of us like to play what I call armchair detectives. And we want to try to solve a crime watching it on TV. And so that's, the, I think those are the reasons that we're drawn to whether it's true crimes, which I talk about and what, what I do, or whether it's fictionalized versions of crimes that we see all over primetime television. Well, Aphrodite, you are a journalist by training, you're a best-selling author, a crime specialist solver. What was it about your childhood that led you to be so inquisitive? I actually started out as a syndicated columnist, so yes, I've always been a journalist and a writer, And uh, but my parents died when I was very young, and so I really felt lost in a sense. I mean, when you lose your parents at a young age, you really... Um, you don't you really feel as though you don't know what to do with your life and what you have lose meaning in life and i actually was able to find my meaning in life by reaching out to victims and that happened quite by accident but once i got there it suddenly became an understanding for me that that was my calling and that i could empathize with victims and the victims families rather than just sympathize which is very different because I can understand that they're going to live with that for the rest of their lives, just the way I do with my parents. Wow, Aphrodite, I have no idea how you handle all that empathy when all that negativity is coming into your life. How do you do it? I tell you, um, the, 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 it is hard to deal with the kind of sadness that I have to deal with because I do take it to heart. And so unlike reporters who come in and out for a quick bite, a sound bite, that's not me. Um, how do I do it? Do it? Um, you know, I, I, I really have to remind myself that I am there to bring light to a dark situation, that I'm there for catharsis for the family, that I'm there to find justice in a case where maybe justice hasn't been found, and that I'm there to make a difference. And that is really what I have to make, make sure that I stay focused on. Otherwise, I will be so depressed all the time that I couldn't possibly go on. Well, I'm glad you have that ability to connect with these families so well and solve the crime. I know it helps even a little bit to uh, have that uh, justice. But let me ask you, tell me about the unique partnership with Investigation Discovery. I love Investigation Discovery. They happen to be one of the best networks. It's a discovery network to begin with. So they're, they're impeccable in their integrity. They are very concerned about the victims. They are very concerned about not showing uh, or exploiting blood or crime scenes. Um, th that's important to me because at the end of the day, while we are telling crime stories, I am very interested in telling a cautionary tale, in telling a tale that's going to help somebody out there perhaps find a clue that might help them end a domestic violent relationship that they're in or, or help somebody else along the way. So it's, it's important to have a partner who cares about uh, integrity and that's investigation discovery. So I, I couldn't be more pleased that I'm with that network. Well, it's certainly a great match, and we look forward to tuning in to Thursday nights to watch your episodes unfold, and good luck solving these cases. Thank you, Con. I appreciate you having me on.